एटीन हंड्रेड आवर्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असल दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय मोहम्मद जुबैर खान फर्स्ट द हेडलाइंस फेडरल कैबिनेट हैज डिसाइडेड टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अ सब कमेटी टू इन्वेस्टिगेट इलीगल ट्रांसफर ऑफ फिफ्टी बिलियन रुपीज टू द यूनाइटेड किंगडम बाय बैरिया टाउन ड्यूरिंग द टेन ईयर ऑफ प्रीवियस गवर्नमेंट Tax free Sindh budget with a total outlay of over 1.713 trillion rupees for financial year 2022-23 was presented in the provincial assembly today. Pakistan and Iran have reiterated the resolve to further strengthen bilateral relations in all dimensions. Chairman Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee and Argentinian Armed Forces Chief at a meeting in Rawalpindi today discussed matters of bilateral defense cooperation including security and military exchanges. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir Indian troops in their continuing acts of state terrorism martyred two more Kashmiri youth in Srinagar today. Saudi Arabia and Houthi movement of Yemen have resumed direct talks to discuss security along the Saudi border. And now the news in detail. Federal Cabinet at its meeting in Islamabad today chaired by Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has decided to constitute a subcommittee to fully investigate the amount of 50 billion rupees illegally transferred to the United Kingdom by Bahria Town in the previous government. Briefing the media persons in Islamabad along with other cabinet members, Interior Minister Rana Sanawla said that these proceeds had to be returned to the National Exchequer but this did not happen. He said the PTI government rather securing a share in the amount provided relief to Bahria town. He said a land of 458 canals was also transferred by Bahria town to Al Qadir Trust the trustees of which are former prime minister Imran Khan and his spouse. Rana Sanawla said this is the true face of Imran Khan who directly plundered the public money by getting his share in 50 billion rupees and provided relief to Bahria town. tax free synth budget with total outlay of over 1.713 trillion rupees for financial year 2022-23 was presented in the provincial assembly today synth chief minister sayed murad ali shah who also holds the portfolio of finance presented the budget our karachi correspondent altaf peer zado reports that focus has been attached on social safety economic stability and development of the province In his speech Sayed Murad Ali Shah announced 26.850 billion rupees social safety and economic relief package for the poor of the province. He announced 15% increase in salaries of provincial government employees from 1st July this year by merging all the ad hoc relief allowances from 2016 to 2021 in basic pay and introducing new and revised pay scale. He also announced that disparity allowance at the rate of 33% of basic pay will be paid to provincial government employees from provincial basic scale 1 to 16 and 30% to the provincial basic scale 17 and above. He also announced 5% increase in pensions of retired employees. Sayed Murad Ali Shah announced upgradation of post of police constables from basic pay scale 5 to 7. He said that an amount of 332.165 billion rupees has been earmarked for annual development program 2022-23 which over 100 billion rupees more than amount of the outgoing financial year. Pakistan and Iran have reiterated the resolve to further strengthen bilateral relations in all dimensions. This was stated by Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari while addressing joint news conference alongside his Iranian counterpart Hussain Amir Abdullahian in Tehran today. Bilawal Bhutto Zardari said Iran is an important neighbor and brother of Pakistan and building close relations with Iran remains our high priority. He said during his meeting with Iranian foreign minister they took stock of entire gamut of bilateral relations and identified ways to further strengthen the bilateral relations in trade, investment, connectivity, border management, facilitation of azairin, cultural and educational cooperation. and enhancing people to people contacts reiterating the commitment to enhance commercial and economic activities the foreign minister said we have also committed to enhance energy cooperation by importing additional electricity from iran he said during his meeting with iranian foreign minister they also discussed the exchange of prisoners under the existing legal frameworks to allow them to complete their sentences in their respective countries Appreciating Iran's facilitation of Pakistani Zairin the foreign minister said he discussed additional facilities for them Bilawal Bhutto Zardari said we also discussed latest developments in Afghanistan 
ह्यूमन राइट सिचुएशन इन इंडियन इलीगली ऑक्यूपाइड जम्मू एंड कश्मीर द राइजिंग टाइड ऑफ इस्लामोफोबिया एंड द रिसेंट ब्लास फेमस रिमार्क्स मेड बाय ऑफिशियल्स इन इंडिया दैट डीपली ऑफेंडेड मुस्लिम्स अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड चीफ ऑफ द जॉइंट स्टाफ ऑफ द अर्जेंटीनियन आर्म फोर्सेज टी एन टी जनरल खुआन मार्टीन पालियो हु इज ऑन ऑफिशियल विजिट टू पाकिस्तान कॉल्ड ऑन चेयरमैन जॉइंट चीफ ऑफ स्टाफ कमेटी जनरल नदीम रजा इन रावल पिंडी टूडे according to ispr matters of bilateral defense cooperation including security military exchanges training and prevailing regional environment were discussed during the meeting speaking on the occasion general nadim raza reaffirmed the strong and long standing bilateral defense relationship between argentine and pakistan the visiting dignitary said the mutually beneficial interactions have deepened the bilateral defense relationship strengthened the cooperation and enhanced mutual understanding between the two armies Earlier upon arrival at Joint Staff Headquarters the Entry General Juan Martin Palio was presented guard of honor by smartly turned out contingent of Pakistan armed forces This is Radio Pakistan Indian troops in their continuing acts of state terrorism martyred two more Kashmiri youth in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir today The youth were martyred by the troops during a cordon and search operation in Bemina area of Srinagar The troops also launched a violent cordon and search operation in Mishipura area of Kulgam district today. Jammu based all parties Hurriyat conference leader advocate Devinder Singh Behl in a statement expressed grave concern over the massacre of Kashmiri youth by Indian troops. He urged the international community to increase pressure on India to stop human rights violations in the occupied territory. People's Democratic Party chief Mehbooba Mufti in a statement in Srinagar said that Bharatiya Janata Party leader Nupur Sharma's blasphemous remarks are part of the BJP strategy to incite Muslims and provoke a backlash against them Meanwhile speakers at a function in Maryland the United States appealed to the United Nations and other world organizations to give up their silence and impress upon India to release Muhammad Yasin Malik and other Kashmiri detainees from jails Meanwhile APHC AJK convener Mohammad Farooq Rehmani in a statement in Islamabad called upon the United Nations to take tangible measures against India for murderous assaults on the Muslims across the country. World Blood Donor Day was observed today to raise global awareness about safe blood and blood products for transfusion. This year World Blood Donor Day slogan is Donating blood is an act of solidarity. Join the effort and save lives. President Dr Arif Alvi has urged all healthy adult men and women in the country to donate blood as frequently as possible as an act of piety to save lives. He made the appeal in his message on the occasion of World Blood Donor Day being observed today. The president said regular blood donation by a sufficient number of healthy people is needed to ensure its availability whenever and wherever it is needed. This year's slogan of the World Blood Donor Day is Donating blood is an act of solidarity. join the effort and save lives Saudi Arabia and the Yemeni's Houthi movement have resumed direct talks to discuss security along the kingdom's border and future relations under any peace deal with Yemen The virtual talks between Saudi and Houthi officials were facilitated by Oman And now the weather report Mainly very hot and dry weather is likely to prevail in most plain areas of the country during the next 12 hours However rain with wind and the thunderstorm is expected in Potohar region South Punjab Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Gilgit Baltistan Kashmir and adjoining hilly areas gusty and dust raising winds are also expected in South Punjab and Upper Sindh And that is the end of the news for more news and analysis log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com/radiopakistannewsofficial